Hello everybody, welcome back to EU4 and Paradox Game of Playing. And last time we beat up Lithuania. And I started calling China Guard, but I just uh, realized that I'm actually ready to take administrative technology uh, efficiency. Um, so I just undid my core here. That should take it down by 20%. That's like 24. 24 admin points. Take it down to 96. Let's see if that holds true. And it should also finish up Poland. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. So let's core up. We can also reduce the war exhaustion a little bit. That's going to cost 50 a Diplo. And it will save me some 20 admin points. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just go on core up Chernigov. Uh, what's this now? Establish Sunday schools. Missionary strength. Why not? <clears throat> right. And I need to be ready for the Proclaim Guarantee, 21 September. Also that will integrate Poland right now. Or at the end of the month. More likely, there we go. Integrating Poland. And Polish is now accepted. That puts us as a, let's call it a great power in Europe now. Let's get rid of some of the forts. I've got lots of forts. Get rid of those. I'm still keeping Prague, I don't know why, there's no need for that. Also Memel, it's not necessary anymore. We got Polotsk, uh, let's keep that, and Riga is not necessary either. It takes me to plus 10. Half of that is war vibrations. Also, that should take me above my limit. Yeah, 104, 101. That's fine. We'll keep that. So, who's angry at me? Karelian separatists in Ingermanland. That's because they're getting uh, converted right now. Same in Polotsk. And the rest is okay. So let's go ahead and sell Minsk to Galicia Volunia. Sell Minsk. I'll take it. Alright, I don't have to core that. And it's their culture, so I'll gladly accept. I should probably have taken Perislav instead of Chernigov. Uh, I didn't think so far, I guess. Are these guys moving back? No, they're not. Well, we are attacking um, Lithuania again. Let's make sure that we get that proclaim guarantee on the 21st. And remember to revoke it too. Uh, let's keep one down here. Mm. 
That's fine. Okay. Religious conversion? Uh, no, I'm gonna sell Kiev too. Too many relations. We're one above because I'm guaranteeing Lithuania. That's gonna go away. <clears throat> Let's see here. October 22nd. Then I can sell Kiev right now. They won't because they're overextended. Alright, we'll buy it later. It's only Minsk they're overextended with though. Oh, and Pinsk, those two. Alright, we can keep it uh, keep it there for a while. And let's remember to revoke. There we go. So that takes the truce to 1616. So we got five years from that starts until we can attack Russia again. So probably gonna take a lot of Lithuania in that second war, or third war, whatever it is now. And then we're ready to hit uh, Russia again. Right. Uh, let's merge these guys up. Head down to Kiev. Yeah, I kind of like this. We can put these guys up here and this guy here. Those two missionaries should be done in a second. That's the first one. And the second one. Well, still got 90%, so they will pop. I will just key, kill them. The rest is fine. Uh. Yeah, I could actually convert Kiev for them. Why not? And then sell it afterwards. This is my culture, so... Unrest should be manageable over here. Uh, recall from Livonian Order. Really? It's still only 108? Improved 200. Yeah, we got 140 aggressive expansion that we need to burn out. And this one is improved only 53. Let's improve this up a little bit more then. Uh, how many royal marriages do we have? Hungary, Valonia, France. I should get Austria back. Royal marriage with Austria. Keep them happy. Uh, do we need a, can I get a royal marriage up here? No, they are monastic order. They don't do royal marriages. As long as they convert, I don't think they have anything to convert though. No. Oh yeah, they do. Ursul. Hopefully they'll get on that. And we can go speed four. And that's the revolt in Polotsk. There'll be one in Ingham and Land as well. Let's put a channel on here just because we can. Is that this guy? I can simply pull him out of that battle. <laughs> no, I'll take the other one. Alright, so the Russian presence in the Baltic is gone, as well as Lithuanian presence. So now it's just me and Scandinavia in there.
Russia has not gone to any wars lately. Still got ne ne negative 73 prestige. And they still haven't taken uh, military drill. How close are we to get that? We need admin 18. To get the idea group and then the mill points to actually get it. That's gonna take a while. Admin is at let me see here. 1621. Hmm, we are getting diplo points now, so the question is Do we wanna mess with this? Probably not. Let's see, what did it say here? 1621, that's nine years and we're 10 years ahead. So that's actually, that's fine. Once we get there, we can take it. And then we have the military points to both take the tech and also get the two ideas that I need. So that'll work out great. Just about the time when we attack Russia again, we might have military drill coming. So that's uh, that's worth worth waiting for, I think. Uh, sure, you cannot get through. Hungary, uh, what's up? Who are you fighting? Ottomans and Crimea, Lithuania and Hungary. Oh, they're probably gonna call me into that, aren't they? Uh, but yeah, sure, you can get through. Uh, the Ottomans are... Oh, I am capped here. Let's see. Uh, what can we get? Inflation reduction is nice. For just 50 points. Let's do that. So the Ottomans, 122,000. They have more troops than I do. And they're pretty strong, I think. Do not have defensive. They got the discipline from the traditions. And that's it. Then they got offensive too. So they're not they're not overly strong. I think they're gonna call me in. And if they do, I'll try to match up with those guys. We can send down this army. Just to be a little bit closer, I'm awaiting the revolt up here. Yeah, they're gonna lose that fight and then they're gonna call me in. Oh, that's morale right there. I just lose the prestige. And we'll lose, uh, we can get the prestige back because I don't really need the missionary strength. Now I'll take the missionary strength. I'm just waiting for that call to arms. It's gonna come. And we don't have the naval supremacy either, so they can go back and forth as they want. Who else is in that war? Is that Crimea? Yeah, Ottomans and Crimea. It's really strange they don't call me in. I would. <laughs> if, I, if I was hungry, I would call me in. There's a 30 stack of Ottomans. And another 30 stack down here. Actually, let's check out this battle. Then we can see the morale. Pretty low for Hungary, 3.4. And it's 4.6 for uh, the Ottomans. I am about 5 point something. 5.2, I think. And I have 110, so I would outperform them on all these levels here. I wouldn't be afraid to fight them. Hungary is actually beating them up here. Uh, 10 Noble in Wittenberg. Or... Get rid of the Cardinal. Yeah, we can get rid of a Cardinal. Right, good fighting there for Hungary, but they're up against... 
a huge, huge Ottoman army. So if they don't call me in, they're gonna lose, that's for sure. Oh, they just... Yeah, already got engaged by another Ottoman army. And of course, with no morale, it's... It's a loss right there, and they got another army coming in here. Conversion successful, was that in Kiev? Yeah, maybe I can sell it now. Do they have a core now? No? Well, let's try it anyway. Ugh. Sell province. Kiev. Nope, still overextended. Can't sell it. Maybe later. Yeah, well, I got about a hundred thousand men, or maybe eighty thousand men down here already. Most of my army. Should I get called in, I can quickly group up and beat these guys up. Reservatum Ecclesiasticum. Everybody hate me or lose 20 Imperial. I only got 4 Imperial, so I don't care about that. I can just lose the 20. Much better than everybody hating me. So with a full army, most of it mercenary, we're still making ducats. And then we got the revolt in Ingermanland, as expected. And there we go again. Yeah, I can, I can lose another 20, I got zero. Strange that, that would pop twice in a row just like that. And I only have two votes, so that's going to be um, Cleavers. gonna get the vote if I die well, eventually I will how come they love Clevis so much well if nothing else is gonna happen I am gonna have to rush Lithuania when we get to war Maybe it's because I have the truce with Lithuania, they can't call me in. Who's the lead war leader? Ah, okay. That explains it. Lithuania is actually the war leader. I thought Hungary was, but that of course explains it. They, they can't call me in. So Hungary is pretty much screwed. They're going to lose some land. And so will Lithuania. And then we'll see what's left. I could probably attack uh, the Ottomans and get in France, Austria, and that will just wreck them completely, and then head for Constantinople. Uh, but it's a bit of a, a sideshow. Um, I'm much more keen on heading east than south. But I guess it's a menace that has to be dealt with sooner than rather than later. Alright, France, do we need some relation improvement? I think so. This could give me a direct border with the Ottomans soon. In this area over here. Truce expired. They're gonna try to want to uh, form a coalition, but who's willing to join that right now? Russia can't, Hungary can't, Lithuania can't. Oh, and they don't, don't even have 50 points. Everybody's below 50, except for Bavaria, Augsburg, Pomerania, Scandinavia. That's not strong enough, I think, to form a coalition. We got the claim on Chernigov, we can now make it Catholic. We still don't have this caught up. 
Aragon administrators. No, no. Ugh. Minus 25. Okay. On that note, I think we'll put in a break. It's 16.14, so uh, next episode I will attack Lithuania again. Let's see what's left to take at this point. But I'm primarily going east. All this is still open. Plus the stuff up here, of course. So we might be able to rush their provinces before the Ottomans. We'll see about that in the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.